channel it's G and today I have a haul a collective haul so there were a few items that dropped recently from some of your favorite influencers and I know you've seen the title so I have some skims I have Desi Perkins brand Desi sunglasses as well as Jackie Ina's Forever Mood candles. So today I'm gonna to kind of go through all the items I have and give you like um, some little tips on if you wanna purchase or what to purchase or how they fit or just kind of go through the items. So without further ado, keep on watching. Okay, so I am going to start off with what I'm wearing right now. This is the Skims. Uh, stand up, but I'm probably going to have um, a video of it here or here. So this is the Skims. I'm looking at uh, the item online. This is the Soft Lounge Bralette, and this is in the color Copper. So the only thing I don't like about this bralette is the straps. So there is no stretch at all. It's like tight, and there is a no adjustable a piece so that you you can't move it up and down or whatever and this is a size small and it's just kind of tight I mean it's not terrible like I will still wear it. it's not that uncomfortable but I mean after a while I'm probably going to have like the strap mark because it is kind of digging into my arm a little bit so that's the only thing it's super soft and this is the soft lounge I think I mentioned that but this is not the cotton lounge this is the soft so it is definitely really soft, really comfortable. Um, I love this color. I think all brown girls look great in brown and this kind of copper, which is really brown. It's beautiful. I love this color. Um, I would recommend this if you like bralette style tops, but I wouldn't recommend it because it doesn't adjust. So it's either going to fit you or it's not going to fit you basically. So. That's the only con with the top. And I'm also wearing the soft lounge legging in copper as well. And these leggings are so cute and so soft. Um, you can wear them with or without panties, ladies. So, I mean, it's just super soft. Like, it feels like you're wearing, like, lawn johns, but, like, soft lawn johns. Um, and at the end, they have, like, this cuff. And they're just really cute, like something to just lounge around. I would actually wear this out, like with a jean jacket or something, or some type of like oversized shirt or something like over, just to kind of, so I won't be so, this is not naked. I mean, it's just like a crop top and some leggings, but it is really soft. So it's kind of like sheer a little bit, not sheer where you can see through, but like, you can see your body through it. Like you can see your curves through it, I'll say. So that's the only thing, but I would wear this out. I mean, these leggings are, like I said, super comfortable, super soft. Um, I mean, this is a size small in the leggings as well. Something cute to just wear in the house. So the bralette is $36 and the legging was 52. Um, of course, her stuff sells out, so I actually put myself on a wait list for these items because I loved the first cotton collection and I couldn't get it because it was all sold out and I was waiting for her to redrop. So this was the redrop, the soft lounge instead of the cotton, but it looks the same. It's just different material. So when she dropped this, I put myself on a wait list and I got an email like 30 minutes before it dropped for the public and I got to shop. So that's how I got this. So if you are interested in her items, I would definitely recommend the wait list so that you can get first dibs on these items. So this is um, the, the outfit that I brought. I also have another one which is coming right up, but it's not worth it. No, you could find something cheaper somewhere else, but it's just, you know, the hype of it. I mean, I couldn't help it. The material and quality is good, I can't lie. It's super, super soft and comfortable. So when it comes back out, I would recommend copping it. So the next um, Skims item I got was the Plunge Bralette. Like this, let me make sure that's the right name for it. Yes, soft plunge bralette. 
so as you can see it has like a plunge and this one I love because it has the um, adjustable straps so you can definitely tighten it and it also has the like bra clamp so you can tighten it and adjust it to fit you this color is so pretty too the color is called talc so this is the color talc it's kind of like a grayish mint type of color this one is so so cute too and this bralette was $36 and I got it in a size small as well so this one is the same material the soft lounge is super soft um, it's not that much uh, support I would say I mean it's no wires or anything so of course it's not going to lift you up but I don't think it makes you go everywhere as well like it doesn't you, you don't just flop everywhere so it kind of holds you in a little bit but it's not that much support but it's cute <laughs> so that's why I got it and then I got the matching soft lounge boxer so these are like men's type of boxer briefs super soft super stretchy like love 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 this like I said, this is the color talk, and this is a size small as well. And these are $36. So they're really cute. Just something to lounge around in. I definitely wouldn't wear these out. <laughs> I don't think my husband would let me wear these out. But these are really, really cute. Something to like lounge around in. So I'm so happy I got my skins. They're definitely worth it. The quality, the comfort, it's it's worth it to me i mean like i said you could definitely find dupes or if you wanted to get a cheaper alternative you could definitely do that i wouldn't say you have to run out and buy 36 dollar <laughs> boxer briefs like it's definitely not that deep but if it's something cute if you want to treat yourself with splurge i would definitely recommend so those were the skims item next i have a uh, desi Desi Perkins here on YouTube, she has come out with a sunglass line called Desi with a Z and I managed to snag one pair. I had two pair in my car but when I checked out girl them things were sold out so I only got one. Like her whole collection, I think she had about four different styles of sunglasses and they all came in like four different colors so and they were all sold out in like five minutes so yeah i managed to get the ones that i really wanted and uh this is what the box looks like so it's really really cute it says desi on the top and it's like a collage of her wearing the glasses and i just wanted to support because i really like her i don't know something about her she just seems really genuine and she's pregnant and she's been really trying for a long time and she went through ivf and everything so i don't know i just wanted to support her and this is like her homegrown brand it's all done in her house with her grandma and her mom and her husband and her brother. So it's like a cute little backstory. So this is the um, kind of box that it comes in and everything's like branded. I hope you can see that. Branded so nicely. It's like so professional. But I mean, what would you expect from an influencer with millions of subscribers and followers? And I'm pretty sure she could afford to get that beautiful packaging and branding and everything so i'm not surprised but without further ado these are the glasses oh my gosh these are so 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 cute and i had these on in my big chop vlog so i've already worn these they're so so cute and i just love like the gradient so this is the harper style sunglass and it is in the tort i think it's called original tort and these were 75 dollars so they're really cute they're like in between you know designer glasses can run you a hundred to a thousand dollars and then they're like the lower end ones that are like 10 to 20 dollars so this is kind of like in between so i think the price point is really good really really good and they are heavy they're sturdy I mean it's so much detail like she has this triangle and she explained in her video what the triangle meant to her it has Desi on the arm of the glass it also has the style handwritten I gotta show you that 
yes it's handwritten it says harper on the inside it's like everything the detail in this like oh it's impeccable and i'm like the price is good like the, for this type of quality and detail and everything the price is great so when she restocks i definitely want to go back and grab another pair another style maybe these in a different color but like these these are like sit in a corner and mind your business and you don't want to be bothered type glasses like don't look at me you see that i'm a boss in these glasses like they are so cute and like my little haircut with these glasses like i'm just feeling it like i'm feeling myself in these glasses i love them one of my favorites by far and I, i'm a sunglass connoisseur i love sunglasses like my husband has told me before i should make a sunglass line because i just like love glasses and i can't even remember how long i have a big collection i kind of want to do a video on my sunglass collection too so these are the harper desi glasses wanted to support her so i got these perfect like love these when they restock i would definitely recommend checking them out like if if you this is big glasses and not your style she has like cat eye ones she has like this um one called 2000s they look like some j-lo type uh baby girl baby fat type of glasses from like the early 2000s those are so cute too so yeah definitely check those out when they restock because they are sold out and last but not least i have jackie Ina's forever mood i bought the entire candle set because i just couldn't decide which candle to get i mean of course you can't smell it beforehand so i'm like i don't know which one i like so let me get them all so i did uh sign up for her early uh launch so i got to shop before the general public as well you have to do is enter your email so i shopped before everyone and was able to snag this and oh my god we cannot even the packaging like it, this blew me away when you first of all before you even open it it says open to get lit <laughs> that is so cute then when you do open it it says mood activated xo and it's jackie ina's signature super super cute like this is so sturdy and like quality is there quality is there and i think this retails for 125 and this is where you get all the four candles that she sells so i think that's a good deal because each candle is about 30 dollars so you definitely save a little bit of money by getting the gift set and I'm gonna go through all the scents and I know that you guys can't smell it but I'm gonna try to do the best describing as I can so the first one we have is left on red and it's like this lavender um, container or whatever it's called with a gold lid that says forever mood and I'm gonna tell y'all the truth I've already burned all four of these because I couldn't help myself and they all smell so good in their different ways so this right here it says warning this candle is addicting and all of them are so left on red let me give you the specs on the back of the big box it has everything about each candle so left on red is tropical fruit coconut coconut milk and the base is caramel so it smells really good it says that it's burn time is up to 65 hours and these are 100 percent natural candles natural soy no parabens and all that stuff so these are like expensive type candles these are comparable to your nest candles or your joe malone's like those types of candles not like bath and body works and nothing's wrong with bath and body works they have good smells too but this is like a step up from that so the throw on this is moderate being the the overall smell like throughout your house or room or whatever and so this one to me it kind of smells like hair grease a little bit <laughs> not in a bad way like a like a not a fruity but like a front not a, it's like in a middle fruity and fresh so i would definitely suggest this if you don't like 
like really really fruity or sweet sweet candles and if you don't like the masculine type of scents this is definitely in between so this kind of smells to me like a fresh fruity type of smell but not heavy on a fruit at all but this one is really nice love this candle it's not my favorite but it they all smell good and it kind of gives you like a perfumey like all of them give like a perfume type of scent not in a bad way so it's not like that type of headache smell it kind of like sets your home with like an expensive smell if that makes sense so this one was left on red next i will go with a matcha business and this is like a mint type of green color and it has that gold top as well matcha business like manja business matcha business and i'm not a big matcha fan like the taste of it but this definitely smells like sweet coffee it smells really really good i think out of all of them this is the one that like fills your room the most like it has the boldest throw if i'm not mistaken let me check so matcha business is hazelnut coffee almond milk honey coffee lavender and the base is vanilla so it has a lot going on but it definitely gives you like a coffee shop type of smell but it's not like strong coffee it's like fruity coffee like sweet coffee this one is, i think this one is kind of my favorite yeah i really like matcha business i think i'm gonna restock on this one when this one comes back out this one definitely smells good yeah and this throw is bold so it when you like this for about five minutes your whole room smells like this it smells like a little coffee shop like a donut coffee shop so it's like sweet but coffee so this one is really good next we have cupping season so this one is i think this is like a fan favorite i've seen everyone like tweeting her about this one cupping season it has like a kind of like a tannish orange type of color to it and this one i've had this burning in my bedroom this one smells really really good as well so the scent details are fresh ozone, salty lemon, mineral citrus, iris, violet, jasmine. The base is Douglas fir, rainforest moss, and white cedar. So, yeah, this one definitely has a lot going on. But it smells like, mmm, this one smells like perfume. Yeah, this one kind of smells like a mix of cologne and perfume, and the throw is moderate. Yeah, I, this one is very hard to explain. It kind of just smells good, like, like... <laughs> I wish that you guys could smell this, but it's kind of hard. This one smells, like I said, like a perfume. Like a, not a fresh it's hard to describe but this one is the second best to me so definitely go get this one so that you can uh know how it smells so this one it smells really good though like i can smell the citrus in this but to me it just kind of smells like like good perfume and then last but not least is caked up and this is in this cute kind of uh like mauve pink color and this one like like it says caked up smells like sweet cake a little bit so it has roasted pistachio almond cream pineapple honey jasmine coconut and the base is vanilla bean and musk so you definitely kind of smell the vanilla the almond cream the pistachio and coconut yeah this one is really really kind of sweet and fruity so if you like those type of vanilla -y scents you would definitely like caked up caked up smells really good too so this is like the third my third favorite yeah this one smells really really good and this one has a bold throw as well and like i said all of these candles smell good there's not one that's like mm, it doesn't smell. like all of them smell good but i have my favorites so 
I would so recommend supporting Jackie. Like, Jackie is the, the best to me. She does the work. When I say does the work, like, she is, like, black woman, black woman power. Like, she does not play. She speaks about it in almost every video of hers, and I really admire her for that. Like, she gets backlash from people all the time, but she never stands down. She stands with what she believes. She... She's just that girl to me. Like, Jackie Ina, like, her whole lifestyle, her whole look, her home. Oh, my God, her house. Like, everything about her, like, love her to pieces. Like, I'm just so happy for her. And I can't wait to see what else she has. With this Forever Mood collection, she did come out with silk pillowcases and silk headbands. I'm excited to see what else she comes out with. I hope she comes out with, like, silk robes and, like, slippers. But I think that she did mention she was going to do skincare as well. So I'm super excited to see what's next for her. Like, all of these influencers, and I think Kim Kardashian is an influencer. You can throw her in that pile, too. She's a celebrity, but she's definitely an influencer. So I feel like like all of these people, especially the YouTubers like Desi and Jackie, are just so inspiring. Like It just shows you what you can do when you kind of put yourself out there and get a following and build a brand that you are like true to and that you have your heart in and how just watching people support them, it's just kind of inspiring. So I wanted to be a supporter and buy some of their items and... I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, I've made 100 subscribers, and I'm so happy about that. And, like, people may think that's, like, a low number or whatever, but I'm kind of excited. I've just started doing YouTube two months ago. And to have 100 authentic subscribers, like, I'm not doing shout-out for shout-out and nothing wrong for that sub for sub or whatever, but I organically grew my following. And I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to me who watches my content, who has notifications on. Turn the notifications on. If you have your notifications on and you see every video that I post and you comment and you like, I just really appreciate Like, the support goes a long way. And I started this not knowing who would and who wouldn't support. And not that that matters, but it's just kind of interesting. And I'm just kind of happy just to see that people are here for my content and watch me and... It just makes my heart smile. So I want to say thank you to all 100, I think it's like 102 now, all 100 and whatever of you guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to just keep going. I'm going to put out content like I've been doing every week, maybe a little more on some weeks. But I'm just excited and I just want to see where this takes me. So subscribe if you haven't. Help me out. Like I said before, I'm on a 1,000 subscriber journey. Now that I've got to 100, like let's make it to 1,000. Come join the family and just, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching.